Here we go. I don't know what you mean. Do we get a, a countdown? And five, four, three, two, one. Soul Sessions Live. Hi, everybody. It's Nikki Thomas. And it's time for another exciting edition of Soul Sessions. Now, we've had some interesting people come through the KBLX studio to sit down and talk to us. But, you know, I got this idea. I was like, we've got all kinds of interesting folks here inside the building that we want to get to know. So I, I just started at the, the fabulousness of our program director and operations manager here at KBLX, Elroy Smith. How are you? Hey, Nikki. Good to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Thank really you. Thank you for agreeing to talk to me. Why wouldn't I? Well, you, you know, um, <laughs> the thing is this. The thing yeah. is this. I wanted to talk to you today about um, who you are, what you do, mm -hmm. how you do it. Yeah. Because I had a I had a little conversation with a coworker about how you were a radio unicorn. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if you agree with that or not, but radio unicorn. So I, I want to kind of start at the beginning because I got to fill some folks in yeah. on some things sure. about what you do. Um, so I understand. I heard a bit of your personal story. Mm -hmm. You were speaking to a crowd in Oakland a couple years ago. Yeah, if you remember yeah, that, I heard yeah, a bit oh, of your personal yeah. story, and I was extremely intrigued. So you are from the island somewhere. Yeah, I am from Bermuda, Nikki. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an island of 60, 65,000 people. Mm -hmm. It's off uh, the Carolinas. Mm -hmm. Um, I was born and raised uh, in Bermuda for mm -hmm. about 17 years, mm -hmm. and um, I fell in love with radio. However, prior to that, I knew I wanted to do something pertaining to entertainment, mm -hmm. so I was in the singing group, Nikki. Wow. Um, I didn't know that part. That didn't work <laughs> out. Um, we performed for like 5,000 people right after the performance, the group had a meeting mm -hmm. and said Elroy just did not work you're fired Whoa. and I'm like all of those people down there five five thousand people loved me uh -huh. um, so I went home as a fired member of the group I was distraught mm. then I said you know there's still something I want to do regarding this entertainment thing right so I went to the radio station the local station in Bermuda they gave me several commercials to read, Nikki, and I was not able to read. Mm. Um, you weren't able to read, read? Read, read. Um, mm. And to sort of go back just a tad bit, I never finished high school. I was horrible in high school. Hmm. Um, I got expelled from one high school. The other high school, I said, you know what? Let me try my hardest, but it just did not work. So when I went to the radio station, they suggested that I go to college or go to some trade school right. to learn about broadcasting since I wanted to do broadcasting. Went to the trade school for nine months in New York, you know, that program, become a DJ in nine months. Went there, went back to Bermuda, and they said, oh, you're pretty good. They gave me a little part-time job. Then while I was there, I said, you know, I'm still not happy. Um, so I wanted to go to college. Ding, you have no transcripts or you don't have a high school diploma. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to the school in Boston, and they said, Mr. Smith, we will be shutting down in a year and a half. So um, you need to give us a letter from a minister in Bermuda and a letter from a politician wow. saying you know, some great things about your character. And if they are in favor of you, we will let you into college. So I got those two letters, was accepted into college. Hmm. Now. There was a problem when I got accepted into college. I was so far behind because of dropping out of high school. Uh, I went home reading the encyclopedia every day. I just felt like I was the most backward student in, in the class. Mm. Um, got through that year and a half program, but the last semester I had to do nine courses, Nikki, in order to graduate because they were shutting down in a year and a half. It you was had to get it all in. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. a two-year program. Mm -hmm. So um, I was able to achieve that, ended up with an associate's uh, degree in broadcast journalism, mm -hmm. went back home, and things were much better. They received me much better and went on the air, and for the summer I said, oh, you know what, mm, I still want some more education. So I went back to Boston, I went to a school called Emerson College, a broadcasting school, mm -hmm. 
and uh, got my uh, bachelor's uh, in mass communications. Wow. Okay, needless to say, anybody else would have given up yep. along the way somewhere. Yep. Talk about what that was. That When you were talking, I was like, that's an inner fire. What, where'd that come from? Yeah, or what was the yeah. motivating factor for you? Well, every time I turned the radio on, no matter where I was, whether it was in Bermuda or New York or in Boston, I said, this is an industry that inspires me. This is an industry that I want to be in. Mm -hmm. And I had to go through some difficult times. I almost despaired um, at home in my pajamas in Boston trying mm -hmm. to get my homework done. Uh, not too many people were able to help me to uh, get through uh, this program. Um, but when it all came together uh, was when I got an internship uh, mm -hmm. at a radio station in Boston. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, after a few months being there, they said, oh, we took this Caribbean show off the air. Listeners are calling demanding that this Caribbean show return. Mm -hmm. <gasps> The program director said, oh, how about that guy from the Caribbean, wow. Elroy? Mm -hmm. And listen, I was so excited. I never <laughs> corrected him to say Bermuda is not in the Caribbean. Okay. So there was another problem. I didn't know reggae music. I didn't know calypso music, but I had to learn it quickly. I did have an accent from Bermuda, but it's totally different from an accent. They from, didn't know that. Though. They, they, they didn't know, they didn't know. Mm -hmm. Bermuda, yeah, you know, Barbados, the Bahamas, they all think all of those countries are together. Mm -hmm. So I ended up doing this Caribbean show, and then, Nikki, um, it was graduation time. Uh, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm graduating with um, a, a bachelor's in mass communications, and right as I graduated, they gave me a full-time job in Boston. Nine months later, my school visa runs out. I'm like, oh boy, um, how do I carry this on? So I mentioned to the um, owner of the station that, hey, I know uh, my school visa is, you know, done. Mm -hmm. What happens now? And he ended up saying to me, I will um, sponsor you mm -hmm. to help you to become a legitimate citizen in America. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying all of this to say to you that it was not easy at all yeah um so i ended up um getting sponsored by this radio station so i continued on and after a few years at the station mm -hmm. became the program director was on the air blah 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 mm -hmm. blah. amazing okay there was a whole lot of amazing things in there <laughs> um so you you said so much and i hope that everybody who's watching this like you're kind of reading between the lines so like in life, we have to choose what is worthy of the struggle. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're saying it was not easy at all, but you just kind of plowed through it and overcame. Like mm -hmm. before we even started talking, that's a word that I, I wrote down that mm -hmm. we want to talk about overcoming. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's a whole lot of inspiration in the, you know, in the few minutes that you just kind of broke that story down. Mm -hmm. um, so the thing that I wanted to tap into when I said, okay, radio unicorn, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. I'm going to tell you why I say this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've been doing radio for almost 30 years. Wow. Since I was in college okay. in, I'm not going to say what year, but <laughs> when I was in college, I started when I was 22, and there have been a lot of people that I've worked with, and none of them have been quite like you. So a lot of program directors, um, they can be great program directors, but sometimes they're not very nice people. You know, sometimes they're great at one thing and there's something always missing. Um, so I say Radio Unicorn because on top of being a great leader, you brought KBLX from point A to point B. Anybody who listens to KBLX knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and also you're a leader in the sense of bringing out the best in your team, in mm -hmm. your people. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm like the poster child, hallelujah. It's like, I just feel the growth as an individual and as a radio personality. So you've got all these different things. Um, I call it mindful leadership. Oh, okay. You know, very mindful. It's almost very spiritual in nature. Well, Nikki, I look at it this way. Um, I wanna be able to treat my staff the way I will want them to treat me so every time I have to make a decision, I would always ask myself, you know, 
what would you do if it was reversed? Mm -hmm. um, and that helps me to, um, you know, make, I'm not saying all of my decisions are mm -hmm. the right decisions, but mm -hmm. I make every effort to um, be considerate, to be empathetic toward, mm -hmm. you know, uh, my team. Mm -hmm. um, and if I don't feel good about um, moving in that direction, I would go in a different direction because of the compassion that I would have for you or any of the people uh, that report to me. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that I do do that I need to express before I begin my day um, at the radio station, before I make any decisions, I take a moment to pray to God mm -hmm. to give me wisdom uh, with regard to um, the decisions that you know I will be faced with today. Uh, there's no way I can just you know haphazardly make decisions because, oh, this is the way I feel. Mm -hmm. I always want to have someone's heart in, in my mind mm -hmm. as I'm making uh, a decision. Mm -hmm. And a lot, of people realize, a lot of people look at my gig, man, this guy has a cool job. He talks to the DJs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's able to play the music. He's able to, you know, meet the entertainers and all of that. But, you know, putting all of that aside, mm -hmm. there's a lot, as you know, Nikki, um, that goes into what we do. It is. And it's, that's true. One of the Very things true. is uh, relationships, building trust. Yeah. Uh, in your people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's exactly it. Um, when I came on board, and and I'm, I'm telling this story because the KBLX Nation, you know, very mm -hmm. familiar because. Mm -hmm. Um, when you say people that it's a circle of love, that's what the KBLX Nation mm -hmm. is. It's a circle of right. love. Um, when you came on board, I had done mornings for years and I came back here as a part-timer. Yep. Um, and then I ended up doing afternoons three to eight. Mm -hmm. I did not see that or feel that for myself. It wasn't on the list. And I remember you said, well, I've never heard you in the morning. I don't know you as a morning person personality. I don't mm -hmm. know that about you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was a matter of you seeing something greater than I saw in myself. And, you know, taking it and pulling it out. That is a, a particular talent. Um, and it's, it's a, I, I would imagine, I'm going to ask you the question sure. and let you answer sure. the question, it's but okay. I would imagine it comes from a place of, um, I don't know, maybe vulnerability, because it's like you really want your folks to shine. Yeah, I mean, I look at it this way. So many of us um, have spent thousands and thousands of dollars going to school or mm -hmm. college or trade school, whatever, to have Nikki or any other personalities uh, come on the air and speak for 10 seconds or 15 seconds and, and not really um, expose who they are. Uh, that bothers me. I mean, it's an investment that we have made in this industry. Mm -hmm. So my goal is to see you, Nikki, become, you know, one of the greatest personalities uh, in the Bay Area. I mean, that that is my goal. When I hear uh, or when I see your ratings and see that you're growing, and when I hear people saying how great you are, uh, that's a good feeling as though, you know, I'm experiencing it. So the whole goal is to see you evolve into the best talent, into the best person that you could possibly be. And based on what's happening now with regard to Afternoon Drive, you are doing a stupendous job. Thank Every you. time I listen to the radio, of course I drive home listening to you, I'm smiling, I'm like rooting for you. That's how to do it, Nikki. Keep doing it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what's beautiful about what we have here, if I'm a fan of the DJ or on your personality, um, it's easier uh, to give them constructive criticism because they know it's coming from a good place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. Um, and again, that's that that was the term that popped in my head. Mm -hmm. Radio unicorn. It's like okay, I've never <laughs> experienced this before. This is great, mm -hmm. and it's it's a great feeling. Um, you know, I've got a, a lot of radio friends all over the country, sure. and I was talking to one of my friends, and I said, I've never worked this hard mm -hmm. before, and I've never been this happy oh, in a radio job awesome. before. So it's. It's, it's really wonderful and, you know, um, I was born in 1970, so do the math. 
I'm a whole grown person Come here. <laughs> um, so it's great as an adult to experience things in a different way that you didn't even imagine, mm -hmm. you know, quite that they would unfold that way. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's let let's let's talk real briefly. I'm gonna do just like a really quick word game. Sure. All right. So just one word to yeah. describe each of the following okay. people. Um, Tony Sco. A uh, hilarious. <laughs> That's the word I would pick. Too. He's a hilarious <laughs> brother. He's a hilarious. Um, Antoine. Um. Smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're like in total agreement so far. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch gears. Let's just go to some of the women of KBLX now. Sterling James. Um, warm. Mm hmm. Caring. Mm -hmm. I know it's one word. <laughs> well, you can, you can have more than one word. You're the boss. So, I mean, if you want to throw <laughs> no, some I extra words. I want to follow in. your format. <laughs> um, and just by the way, Sterling is. Um, I call her Flo. Mm -hmm. She just got Flo. Yeah. If you ever watched her, you know, mm -hmm. she just she she just jump on the yeah. mic and she oh, just yeah. got the flow. So I like, I want to be like that one day. Come on. I want to be like that one day. Um, Dolores Thompson. Engaging. Mm -hmm. I like the word warm for Dolores mm -hmm. too. She is. Um, she's got wonderful spirit. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Wonderful spirit. I totally spirit. agree. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Kimmy. Kimmy T. Um, concerned about her fellow man. Hmm, that's a good one. She's a Virgo. Virgo usually, you know, All right. usually are concerned about the fellow man. Uh, Armand, Mr. Quiet Storm. Uh, community. You know what? I, I love that. And this speaks to, again, to like you being a mindful leader. It's like you're using the words that everybody, um, that's their lane. Right. That's their lane and their specialty. When I think about Armand, it's like, that brother is in the community. He's a beast in mm -hmm, this community. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, these these are all perfect words. We got, we got Kimmy, we got Sterling. Miranda. Charismatic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A class act. Yeah, and I love that she has a, a show about inspiration. Yep. She really is. A, she's an inspiring mm -hmm. lady, and you listen to her, and you... Um, you act like you like sitting there having coffee with her. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Last but not least, Nikki Thomas. What about her? Um, the next Oprah Winfrey. Oh, I got a good one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're dynamic. And Thank it's you not so because much. you're sitting here. I think you have so much to offer. Thank you so much. Um, but, you know, I, I think I'd, I'd have to, like, just give serious credit to, again, your mindful leadership. Um, again, as a grown person, you know, having the room to grow, um, having the space to be a creative person, mm -hmm. um, and, and, and just come into your lane, into your craft. It's, it's just, it's amazing. And that is not something that was going to happen I don't think it was going to unfold without, you know, your Well, I mean, the whole initiative and... is I want you and your fellow uh, co-workers mm -hmm. to be able to wake up every day saying that, mm -hmm. you know, I can't wait to go to work versus, oh my goodness, um, I'm dreading going to work. Mm -hmm. And some people go through that every day. Mm -hmm. And I just would not want that of my team. Mm -hmm. I want them to wake up. Um, excited, mm -hmm. thrilled, um, anxious mm -hmm. to get on the radio and, and perform. That, that's, that's what it is. I think, I think that is exactly the feeling. It's like, I cannot wait. Yeah. Let me, um, you know, get in here and see if I can put the feeling of today, what's yep. happening on the planet today mm -hmm. into this show. Mm -hmm. So that, so that's exactly it. Um, and, and just a little bit, I know that you are, y'all know I'm a astrological person. Uh, you're a cancer. I was born July 8th. Mm -hmm. yeah. My dad's a cancer, so oh, I'm, I'm okay. familiar, familiar. So are we similar? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that's a whole... So you're used to this type of personality. Well, it's a yeah. whole nother show. We can okay. talk about just the, the, the free-flowing energy <laughs> right. of the cancer personality. Okay. Um, but cancer is a water sign. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the water, air, you know, free-flowing mm -hmm. and... Um, you know, you're just great at creating great space for people. So that is what I want to thank you for, for creating this space where we all can grow into 
um, our best selves. I borrowed that one directly from Oprah, the Come whole on. best self thing. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you so much thank for, you, for being, like I said, this a mindful leader. Um, Radio Unicorn is, is you know, mm -hmm. that that's kind of like a, um, uh, what, what's the word? Um, trendy saying, maybe? Yeah. Um, but I, I think mindful leader, I think that is, I think well, that is exactly I, I, I what. I am absolutely flattered uh, mm -hmm. to be a part of this today. That, Thank that's, you. that's what it is. So um, one more thing that I want to add, because I think a lot of us think that we have to adopt certain personalities to be a leader to bring the best out in people. You know, I hear a lot of people say, I'm gonna make everybody respect me. You don't have to, that's true. you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't have yeah. to I go think, in uh, that Nikki, direction. That's a very good point. I think people earn respect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, there's no way that I will walk down the hall mm -hmm. to say, I am the boss, mm -hmm. so you need to do what I, tell what you I to just do. said for you to do. Mm -hmm. That is an instant turn off. Mm -hmm. You know, I should look at my people as we're co we're coworkers, mm -hmm. um, and that makes people relax because when you hear, hear the word boss, mm -hmm. it could be intimidating, mm -hmm. and to have people on your staff feeling intimidated or feeling as though they're walking on eggshells, their performance will not be one hundred percent. I I agree. I agree, and I think that. Um that is the key to really any successful relationship, be it professional or if it, it is a friendship or even, even a, a romantic relationship. It's like you have to just create space for that person to be themselves. Yeah. Um, you know, you trying to make somebody or manipulate somebody or, or, you know, trying to get them to respect you by fearing you. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just, you know, it, it, it never works. It never comes from a great space. So, you know, that is, is one way that, um, you know, when you have the word leader, it is, um, you know, it's true to life. It is coming from a place, just like we said at the beginning, I, I use the word vulnerability. Yeah. And that it, we, we, we've gone right back to the word, you know, just a certain vulnerability where you're open and um, you know, open and accepting and in, in, in a loving place and just allowing instead of, um, making, making yeah, it happen. Yeah, you know, I'm glad we're talking about it. One of the keys I've learned mm -hmm. is it's okay if a leader says, I am not knowledgeable in this area or that area. Mm -hmm. What I try to do, I try to hire people smarter than me <laughs> because I am not the smartest on this planet, far mm -hmm. from it, not even in this building, not even at KBLX. And I never want to project that, you know, I'm smart, you listen to me, I want to get people's inside input so we can work together as a team. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. So I know that our, our sharp KBLX Nation, and KBLX Nation goes all over the globe. I'm not, I'm not just talking to folks in the Bay Area that listen to KBLX, but our KBLX Nation, I know that we are um, reading between the lines and taking notes and being inspired by your words today. Thank you for, for speaking. I knew this was going to be exciting. I already thank knew. You, thank you, and thank you. Thank you. Nikki Thomas, Soul Sessions Live with Elroy Smith, Program Director of KBLX Radio. Thank you, fam. And we can stop over here.